All right, Spy. How's it look? Hey! Wow. We're winners over here in this colony. Komodo! Komodo, you won't believe it! I do believe it. Your tower looks horrible. Yeah, the colonists, they died. They ran away. They said I was starving them. Wait, 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 wait. You just said the colonists died, and then you repeat it. You said they ran away. So which is it? Did they die or they ran away? Half and half. They, some starved, some ran away. Oh, well, I've got a little bit of room in my colony, but... I'm not sure you'd quite fit in. You know what? I'm jumping over there. I'm gonna live with you. Go ahead. Oh, wait, I fell the wrong way. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. You're really Here we bad. go. Oh, uh oh. I'm dead. Yeah, I died. I'm pretty sure you just died. That was good. I'm, I'm back. Hi. Hi, can I join your colony? Well, I mean, you kind of have to earn your own around here because we're okay. a hardworking colony. So, uh, can maybe buy the uh, the banner. Okay, I'll tell you what. Ah, zombies. I'll tell you what. I'll live with you for a little bit and then we can expand your base and I'll make a zombie survival bunker. But I want a bunker too. Okay, you can live with me too. Well, we could share the bunker, you know. All right, Spy. I guess we're going to make you an owner. So, boom. What? what? <gasps> and guess what? Guess what? What? Kicked. Oh. I'm just kidding. Hey. Right. There we go. Wow. You got, holy, the calories, 38 people. Holy man. Yeah, I basically just let this thing run out because we were just kind of short on food and all that. And I quit adding colonists. Nice. Okay. It looks like your walls are not too far out. You know, I'm pretty sure I can upgrade the size of my colony right now. Ooh, I think I need more colonists. Uh, 17 more colonists to get the banner radius one, which adds 40 extra blocks. Oh boy. All right, so we need to add a bunch of beds and maybe some farms and all the other good stuff. Yeah, uh, well, I lost everything. Really? <laughs> yeah, except there is some stuff up there we could scavenge in the future. <laughs> All right, well, I guess, uh, hmm, where are we going to stick the new people? You know, I have an underground section over here that we might be able to start up Oh. Uh, down here. Oh, yeah, we can mine this out a bit, add some extra beds, and go from there. Yeah, all right. You know, Komodo, it would have been useful if I managed to research the digging people, but that's what ended my tower colony. Really? Yeah, I forced them to research digging, and that murdered them all. That's just sad. We should be able to pile in beds, like, really tight down here, and even upstairs, so we'll get maximum colonists here. We could, like, make a gigantic shared bed. That sounds weird, but, you know, it, it's efficient. That does sound weird. Gigantic bed, it is. <laughs> okay, try it again. Okay. Gigantic bed. No. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is weird. I'm going to make this look nice for you. Check it out. What is it? Straw. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's... Okay. Yeah, they live fine. in a, a pen. <laughs> a human pen. <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't actually uh, surprise me, considering it's my colony here. Yeah. All right. I need to make more beds here. Boom, boom, boom. Whoa. We just need one more. One, one more? One more. I all right, uh, yeah, 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 let's just put them over here. Okay, ready? Yeah. Boom! Boom! All right, now, I think it's probably a bad idea to hire the 17 colonists right away because we're going to be overrun by zombies, and they're going to eat all the food, and it's already orange. Well, you know what we should be doing? We should probably go ahead and start assigning some more guards because I have a feeling some zombies have been munching on colonists as of recent. Oh, yeah, and we might need to get more food production um, somehow. I'm going to go ahead and start, uh, let's see, I'm going to do nighttime slingers. Okay, probably just want more wheat and more bread makers. Well, man, we got pretty busy on the bread. 96 wheat field. Adding some more ovens in here and one more grindstone. And now we should be making a lot of wheat, hopefully. There's a there's a zombie walking in. He's just casually uh, doing his thing right now. I'm gonna oh, that's just smash. Steve. That's just Steve. Steve's dead. <laughs> oh, no, Steve. I was not the one who punched him in the face. <laughs> oh, did you finish Steve off? No. You evil person. It's just Steve. If you were to be actually owning my colony right now, not not me, like you, what would you be doing next? You know, fishing sounds pretty good, but you need olives. So we need an olive farm? Yeah, I don't think that's too bad because it might provide some food, right? So we need to start hiring some people because I'm not sure we're filling out these jobs right now. No, we got negative 10. Boom. Whoa. Wait, I think that's probably good. We don't want to go too crazy. Well, I added some more guards, so we got the zombie situation under control, I think. And we got some people doing the olives and the wheat and the bread stuff. We have 44 colonists. We need six more for our expansion. Yeah, then a bunker. Science? Science archery, Komodo! Oh, okay, so we have bows? Uh, I think we could craft bows now. It says need planks and bowstring. Okay. Complete it. They actually made three bows and there's 200 arrows! Ooh, 
Ooh. Where shall we stick our bow, bow guy? Uh, fire someone. F fire someone and replace them. Oh, why don't we just, uh, we just hire another colonist? I don't want to fire any of my guys. Look at them. They're working good. Yeah, they're good people. All right. You, right here's probably a good spot. Hey. Boom. We have an efficient system here. The maze could be a little bit bigger. I'm doing that right now. There we go. Wow. So much more efficient now. Is he working? Yeah. Wait. I have never seen zombies in my oh. trench before. Wait. Yeah. What the heck? They're just... <gasps> That just saves time. I think it's broken. So they go down this little hole, right? And then they get confused. So they go all the way back up. That's perfect. That's like a bug, but it's helping us. Yeah, I'm about to say, we should be swarmed by now, but it seems like we're actually holding our own. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, fishing is complete, Komodo. Yay, can we go fishing now? Yeah, we can assign fishing people. And look at that, cook unlocks the cook, which can make meals. For your colonists. I think that's what we need because we have chickens, right? So we're going to have a big restaurant in here. We're going to cook luxury meals. Yeah, I think that will solve all our food problems. Yay. Ooh, can't wait. I hope they catch a lot of fish, but do we need the cook to cook the fish? I mean, technically, if you're making sushi, you don't need to cook the fish. Yeah. Okay. The cook, it requires olive oil, raw fish, and firewood to be researched. That's easy. Fisherman, fish farmer. Does not require water nearby for fish farmer, but fishermen can just go out here and fish. You know what? We're going to put one down just for because. Yeah. We'll just hope that he doesn't get eaten by zombies. You know what? He will. He probably will. Yep. And we should probably add a fisherman, like a fish farmer inside maybe? Yeah. So we can do some pond fishing inside. Yeah. This is how I get back into your base, by the way. I'll allow it. Make this look nice, I guess. Yeah. <gasps> Komodo. Komodo, look at this. Look at this. Wait. Baby, baby fishes. This seems kind of cruel, doesn't it? Well, it's food, right? I mean, okay. Yeah. So once we get the cook and he starts making food for all our colonists, I think that's when we can start expanding the base and getting started with the underground bunker. Yeah. Underground bunkers. They're bunkers that are underground. Exactly. The cook is done. Sweet. Uh, I'm oh. building a, a master uh, suite up here on top wow. of the building. Can I stay in there too? Nope. Okay. We can now research cabbage farming. Traders. Ooh, trader NPCs. Yes. Uh, we can now probably get banner radius, candles, and technologists. But let's go with the banner radius. So it's time to hire five more people, Komodo. One, two, three, four, five. Are they all running out the front? One, two, two. There we go. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> What's going on? You dying up there? I fell off the side of my building. Oh, okay. Wait, banner radius complete? Yes! How far? That went out pretty far. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks this way. So it must be ten here, ten there, ten there, ten there. Like, square blockage. Does that mean we're ready to start building underground? Um, hold on. I gotta get them building candles, because candles are very apocalyptic. So, the entrance, maybe we'll have it... Let me get some stuff here to build with. Maybe we'll have it going that way towards the tower a bit. So we're building towards the tower. Okay, I got you. So maybe we can have like a stone entrance here. Uh-huh. Maybe like a big vault door because okay. Fallout is cool. I don't know how to make it look cool because it just looks like stone bricks. Okay, you know how all apocalyptic movies and games have like uh -huh. green grass and stuff leading into the bunker to make it look like it's happy, but it's actually not? Yes. We're, we're doing that. So we're going to have like, boom. Oh, Boom. so it's a happy bunker. Happy bunker. But it's not really happy. No, not at all. Oh, bye. I built into the, the trench. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. How are we going to fix that? Uh, we'll close it. We'll close it real quick. Nice. We got to figure that out. <laughs> so look at that. We have stairs. Boom. That actually, it works too. You don't need to jump. Well, currently we only have stone bricks, but in the future we'll have more materials to work with. So this is a work in progress bunker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just starting the bunker. Okay, Komodo, check it out, right? Okay. So we have the entrance here. People okay. walk down and then b boom, big stone gate, which makes no sense, right? Okay, so we dig forward from here. Yep, and that's the entrance to our bunker. Yes. Yep, I wish we had people digging for us. Yeah, that would be <laughs> nice right now. This is going to take a little bit. Wait. Yeah? Wait, what's this? Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh. What is this? <sighs> Uh, that's the tunnel I was building in the bunker to get underneath your base. <laughs> Wait, why were you building under my base? Uh, I was gonna make a tunnel to get free bread. Really? You know what? Get back in there. Okay, I'll give the bread back here. Watch, ready? Boom, bread's back. Good. 
can't believe you're building a tunnel without my knowledge. Hey, I think I mentioned it. Well, then I was not paying attention. Uh, Monster kill job, Baker. No. Oh. Go. No. 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 Are, Are we being kidding? overrun? Um. Run. Yeah. Run. Uh, uh, okay, uh, we're good. Only three people died. Oh, that's that's a new record, actually. We still got two unemployed, so it's all right. <laughs> Yeah, they're good. We probably need to hire like a, a couple more daytime guards. Yeah, there was a day guard here. He let them through. Yeah, not doing his job. Can we uh can we have him taken care of? Like, you know, thrown out? Thrown off the top of the tower, yes. Can I can I do it? Oh, and can you do it? You told me I could do it. He's right here. Do it, delete him. That's what you get. We killed our only day guard. <laughs> Alright, spy. How's it look? It's looking fabulous. It it looks like it can survive a zombie apocalypse. Uh-huh. Whoa. I like this. Yeah, it looks like a cold storage cell right now, but you know, it's going to survive the nuclear zombie survival apocalypse scenario. What? Yeah, can, can we put prison cells in here? What? Prison cells. But why? To lock people in. No, this is where we're staying. If it gets too crunchy outside. Well, sometimes you need entertainment. Well, the entertainment's in here. It's called food. Okay, yeah, I like that food. Okay. And survival and living. Wait, speaking of food, did we ever get to cook? Oh, oops. The stove is in my inventory right now, but it looks like they're doing okay on food. Let's go place this down and uh, they can begin cooking. <laughs> I mean, can we make it to where they only serve us luxury meals and not them? Maybe. We could see. <gasps> oh, no. My civilians are coming out of the tower. Undead. <laughs> it's not funny. That is kind of funny. No, not really. Look. Ooh. Ooh, that's fancy. High quality propane grill right there. They can cook boiling water, cooked fish. That sounds better. Cooked lobster. Ooh. And cake. Okay, let's go with cake. Yep. Cake forever. Just All of it. Infinite supplies of cake right now. Yep. <gasps> hey! Whoa, he's making some lobster. I like lobster. Whoa, how much does that feed? 600 calories per item and there's three. That is a lot compared yes. to bread, which is 1,200 calories per item. But, you know, fish are easy to catch. Yeah, bread's for losers. We're winners over here in this colony. Speaking of winners, um, if you winners enjoyed this episode, make sure to smack that like button. Check out Komodo Gaming's and mine Spy Cake's channel. And <laughs> thanks for watching and subscribing. And remember to always be a winner.